this actually letter is from Andrew Hafner from uh, Ringley Drive in Whitefield. He says, uh, <clears throat> the competition is on. I am talking, of course, about the fight to replace you on your show when you go on holiday. And uh, Andrew then makes a suggestion as to where he thinks I might be spending my holiday. Well, I'm not. For a start, it's seven... It's not seven days, it's 14 days, and uh, Rita Rowe won't be there at all. He continues, I know that many people have applied for the job just to get the thrill of cutting off Roy Acorn, but I've drawn up a table of the top ten replacements for you, and I hope that when he considers who will take your place, the head of programmes, Mike Briscoe, will take a good look at this list. Number one, Mike Dean. Number two, the Welsh Git. Number three, Roy Acorn of Rochdale. Number four, Irate Albert. Number five, the Welsh train spotters Anorak. Number six, Simon Sandiford Mitchell. Number seven, Brian Robson's left foot. Number eight, two members of the Corky Brigade. Number nine, Rita Rowe, provided she can last for three hours a day with Aitio. And number ten, the man at the Niobian Embassy. There you are, and I think the least you could do is send me a signed photo. P.S. Please read this out, P.S. P.P.S. I've heard nothing about your blue Mazda. I'm sorry about that. Yes, perhaps that's worth another try. If you uh, see parked up anywhere in the Berry area a blue Mazda pickup, registration, what was, I think it was CNE981Y, then uh, give the lads at Whitefield Nick a ring because uh, they want to speak to the bloke who drives it around about one or two things, right? Blue Mazda pickup, CNE981Y. Uh, PPS, I bet you don't read this out, as I've already sent in two letters and neither of them have been read out. Well, if they're anything like this one, I can quite understand that. Thank you very much, Andrew Hafner.